I'm sorry, are you distracted by my beautiful duct tape flower hair clip? I know I love it. It's super cute and I'm gonna show you how to make one today. And I'm gonna use this wallflower pattern. So the first thing, you need a template for your petal shape. So I already traced it on cardstock and cut it out. It's just like an eyeball shape. And now I need to make my duct tape to use my template on. So you're just gonna cut one piece, then you're gonna cut another piece, laying it over, sticky side up. Lay this down now. You wanna leave about a half inch of sticky showing. And of course, that means that we have another sticky area on the other side. So I'm going to cut off one of these sticky areas because I only need one. So now I'm going to place this onto the back of a duct tape sheet, but you could also use a piece of wax paper if you want. And then I'm just gonna cut this to size. Now I have my strip to make my petals. So using my template on the back area, I'm just going to trace it using my marker. Now you could use between 13 to even 20 petals, depending on how full you want your flower. All right, so now it's time to cut these out. I have some already cut out here. I will peel off the back of these petals and lay them down with the sticky side up, just so that I have them at the ready as I'm putting my flower together. So you wanna take a petal, fold it in half so you're kind of creasing it, and make sure that the sticky side is up. And then you're gonna do the same thing to another one. And then you're gonna join the two sticky sides together. And now these two petals are gonna wanna pop open, but I want them to stay creased and folded as I keep adding more. So I'm gonna use a trusty paper clip to just keep them together. As I add more petals, I'm just gonna add it into my paper clip. So my paper clip is getting pretty full now with all of these petals, so I'm gonna start a new bundle. I'm just gonna set this paper clip aside. Joining together, going in the paper clip. Okay, so now that I've got this bundle done, I'm gonna join it with the first bundle that I did, just the same way. So I'm just gonna add some more petals because I think it definitely needs to be more full. So now it's time to just connect your last two edges. Woo! Fanning it out a little bit. So now I still have this back circle of sticky area exposed, so we need to cover that up. I'm just gonna cut a disc circle shape about the same size. And now I need to attach the hardware, which is just this little clip that you can get at the craft store and it's specifically for your hair. So I'm just gonna cut a little strip, open up the clip. These are the teeth that are gonna go against my hair, so I'm just gonna lay this down, sticky side, down, and then let the clip close. And I'm just going to then attach it. Ta-da! Done. I think I'm gonna put it next to this one. How does it look? I don't have a mirror. How does that look? And that is how you make a duct tape flower hair clip. I love it. I feel very flower powerful. <laughs> See you next time.